When it starts getting cold out, you might notice something at the base of a plant. It's an intricate pattern of ice that can look something like this, and we call it a frost flower. And for good reason, it's an intricate pattern of ice that can take the shape of a flower. Sometimes these ice patterns are really detailed like this one. I mean, check that out. Made out of ice that can be as thin as a credit card. So how does this happen and why does it take that shape? Well, let's take a look at the stem of a plant. Now, it usually happens on kind of a woodsy plant that's shaded from the morning sunshine. The air temperature has to be below freezing, but it's the beginning of the cold season, so the ground itself is still above freezing and the plant is still well mostly alive although it is still the end of the season we'll use some x-ray vision here right water through capillary action is a fancy name for what the plant does to get water up from the ground into the stem it's still water but remember that air is cold so it starts to freeze and when that happens it expands and this actually breaks the stem open as if someone took a razor and sliced a pattern right down the side. So when more water comes up from the soil, it gets forced out and freezes as it makes contact with the air and can wrap around into those very intricate patterns. You only get a chance to see this once because after this, the plant is basically dead and that soil moisture doesn't come up anymore. So on those cold mornings, take a look in the shaded areas.